Now I've got a couple of favorite cryptos at the moment. One's called Quant, and we're gonna look at that in another video shortly. The other is called Chilies. And what is Chilies? Well, it's a great coin, and we're gonna dig into the background of it and have a look at the charts and see where it's heading next. But let's go firstly to their website. When I like to invest or trade in cryptos, I like to do my homework, dig into the background of these coins and markets to see where they actually offer a purpose you know, out there in the bigger world, almost like a stock, you could say. And for me, that gives them an advantage over some of the others because there's a tangible you know, value to them. And that's why I like Chili's. And you're asking, what is Chili's? Well, it's all about sports and entertainment. They're a leading digital currency in that world. And it's giving blockchain-based sports entertainment platform called Sokios. I hope I pronounced that right. And that gives clubs like Barcelona or Manchester City um, the ability to create their own coins, fan tokens they're called, and then they can you know, sell them to their fans. And through that, the fans can start to participate and influence in club-related decisions through surveys and polls, messages, you know, complete open shop on what they can actually you know get involved with within the club so it's a great fan tool and like i said barcelona manchester city even places like ufc and nfl are getting into this um type of platform because it really does open up the world of you know the club to the fans and because of that it's becoming very popular and it's growing very very fast Chili's are providing these big sports clubs with the tools to reach their fans. So we've briefly had a look at the fundamentals of uh, Chili's and its use case. All look good, but what are the charts telling us at the moment? So we're into the weekly Heikinashi chart for a bit of a longer term view here. And I suppose the first takeaway is you can see that huge huge run up um, in the price nearly well just over seven thousand percent in a very very short space of time just a couple of months before then ripping all the way back down to what we saw those lows in the summer of this year around 0.09 before this nice positive correction once more and you can see it's pushing against this trend line banging into this Fibonacci line at 0.257 and it gets above there then you know it's going to be looking at these other Fibonacci's as potential upside targets now if you're looking um, into a way of getting into the trade to the upside then the full line break chart very handy for reversals and turning points finding them very difficult skill to master but that chart certainly helps you Got a couple of numbers around in 0.268, 0.278 to the upside. Like I said, if you're feeling bullish on chilies and the daily high can actually let's focus in a bit closer on what's been going on this year. It's been a bumpy ride, really. We can see this hell to scale to cyclical pattern going on there at the moment. And in terms of signals, well, we've got bullish long term. Um, DMI set up there just crossed over to the negative and we can see that with that sell off there and the short term sell signal outside the two pink line box breakout area Vo volatility also on the way down normally trading a lot higher than that. It's about 40 percent at the moment can be in the mid 100s and volume as well after that rise has also come down. So it's feeling a bit weak at the moment as we see this you know, sell off play out. Looks like it's got some support around this sort of area, around the 0.2 area. So keep an eye on that, see if it breaks down there because then the next stop is this sort of low zone, 0.1 area. But we're hoping for that push back on up from that sort of, like I say, support zone there around 0. 
0.2 now focusing even tighter on the price data we've got the Renko chart block size 0.004 for some real fast action signals at the moment again all looking pretty weak at the moment in the shorter term we can see that nice trend that's been playing up since the summertime a uh, bit bumpy pulling off just at the moment and if it continues on down what target so we got to that, that downside 0.1569 and 0.0831 and then 0.0297 like I said that support that 61.8 line about the 0.2 on the Renko chart like it was similar in the Heiko Nashi daily chart then if it can bounce from here got to get past those highs first 0.2762 then 0.3561 and then just under 0.4 to the upside. So with all that, let's give Chili's a score. So in terms of a score then, based purely off the technical analysis, I'm going for a neutral overall. Obviously the fundamentals are quite warm at the moment, so that probably just nudges that up to, if you, you know, thinking about an overall score, maybe a weak bullish setup at the moment now in terms of the technicals top right a couple of numbers in for you there on the four line break charts Heiko Nashi to the left of that bit of a neutral um, play at the moment trend weak bullish and we just got that short term pullback sell signal at the moment and the Renko chart again a mixed bag trend up signals pulling back weak bearish so possibly buy the dip opportunity in there as we looked around that 0.2 area and in terms of targets upside 3.25 to 1 and 4.25 to 1 downside 4 to 1 and 6 to 1 so pretty good in either direction that critical 0.2 area certainly worth watching so Chili's doing a lot for the future of sports and entertainment and fan interaction and their influence on these bigger teams, clubs, sports. Very exciting uh, looking crypto there and plenty of potential, plenty of potential for growth and has, like I said at the start, uh, you know, a reason for growth. So good long term possibilities charts at the moment you know slackening off after a decent run up in the summer you know could be a buy the dip opportunity watch like i said that 0.2 area closely for any movements changes and dips below but like i say it looks a good crypto as good as any other around at the moment so let me know in those comments below what you think of Chili's, where it might be heading next. Love to hear your thoughts. And if you like today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subs and bell buttons. It all helps the channel. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.